We all dream about quitting our job, leaving it all behind and moving to paradise. That dream could be a reality. We looked at the best places in the world, where the cost of living is so affordable, that you can quit your job, and actually make your move to a whole new world as soon as possible. These are places that are considerably cheaper than United Kingdom and the US. Number 1. Malaysia. This is another country making an effort to be more welcoming to expats. You can get a visa for up to 10 years, through a program introduced recently by the government. For nature lovers, the country serves as an ultimate getaway, with its many beaches and jungles. If you prefer the life in the city, you can kick back in one of Malaysia's many urban destinations. CBS ranked Georgetown as one of the top 10 cities to retire in the world. Malaysia's low cost of living is particularly attractive to Westerners. A one-bedroom apartment in Georgetown, costs an average of $175 in the urban areas, and $140 in the suburbs. And don't worry about overcoming the culture shock. English is known as the unofficial first language in Malaysia. This country is considerably higher on the peace scale, when compared to other countries in Southeast Asia. Number 2. Costa Rica. Those looking to retire in a tropical paradise, without having to pay an extortionate price tag, can look no further than Costa Rica. According to International Living, rents start at $500 a month in the popular Central Valley. And meals at local restaurants drop to as low as $4. Outdoor lovers will find it hard to lose interest here. You can enjoy surfing, whitewater rafting, fishing, jungle hikes, horse riding, and many more. You should not worry if you hurt yourself. International living rates in Costa Rica's healthcare system, is excellent, and among the best in Latin America. You can retire in Costa Rica, by applying for a pension auto visa. However, you would need a monthly pension income, of at least $1,000. Number 3. Spain. Even though Spain recently dropped a few points, on the Global Peace Index, due to internal political conflict, it still remains as the country in Europe with the lowest cost of living, and peacefulness it brings with it. With its rich history, Spain offers plenty of sightseeing, to keep your mind and body running. Art lovers in particular can bask in the work of Baroque painter Diego Velázquez, or modernists like Picasso. In addition, expats may qualify for the country's public health care program, if they meet the following characteristics. If you're employed or self-employed, and paying into their social security system. If you're recently divorced from a partner, who pays into social security. If you're a state pensioner yourself. Spain's most expensive city is Madrid. But even here, you can find spots priced considerably lower than their counterparts, according to the travel website, Escape Artist, a one-bedroom apartment in the city center costs about $925 a month. If you want to retire in Spain, you need to register for a visa after 90 days. Number 4. Slovenia. For those who want to retire, to the backdrop of the Alps, but can't afford the French or Swiss price tag, Slovenia is a solid alternative. Slovenia offers several peaks, and adventurers can break a sweat at the beautiful national park. International Living rated the Slovenian city, as one of the top 10 cities to retire in the world. According to Live and Invest Overseas, an organization dedicated to providing information to businesses moving abroad, has stated that a couple can retire for about $1,500 a month. Number 5. Panama. This country has stopped the Global Retirement Index, by international living. To your advantage, the country makes several moves to attract expats. For instance, the government won't tax income earned outside most Western countries, including the US and United Kingdom. This can benefit you if you continue to invest in a retirement plan, that you opened at your current location. It also offers the Friendly Nations Visa, and the Pension Auto Visa. The Pension Auto Visa almost works like a rewards credit card. It offers you the following discounts, 25% off flights, 30% off public transportation, and 25% off restaurants like any place. Your cost of living depends on the choices you make, based on your lifestyle and your preferred location. In Panama, without basic luxuries, you can live on as little as $500 a month. A very modest but with some luxuries, would run you about $2,000 a month. If you have your eye on Latin America, Panama may offer a solid balance between cost of living and achieving an active retirement. You can enjoy ziplining, biking, golf and other sports to keep the blood flowing. 
or you can retreat to areas like Bokeh. This city is known as a wellness hub, where you can find many opportunities to engage in yoga, meditation, tai chi, and many more. Number 6. Peru. You have much to choose from in Peru, as far as scenery goes. The country features everything from vibrant cities, to mountainous regions and quiet farming towns. Regardless of where you stay, the cost of living tends to be a lot lower compared with other Latin American countries. According to International Living, you can live in comfort on $1,500 a month or less. The organization also claims you can find an apartment in Miraflores, an upscale district of Lima, for around $800 a month. And you'd have access to a world-renowned cuisine made with fresh ingredients from the sea to the mountains. If you can withdraw at least $1,000 in retirement savings, you can secure a rent to visa. However, you can't work and must remain in the country for at least six months of each year. After seven years, you can qualify for a permanent visa. Number 7. Austria. This may be slightly more expensive than the rest of the countries on our list. Austria ranks among the top three most livable countries, according to the Global Peace Index. A recent study by the Economist Intelligence Unit ranked Vienna, as the most livable city on earth. This city alone, offers a seemingly endless array of museums, fine art, and world-renowned architecture. An escape artist indicates, you can expect to pay about an average of about $900 a month, for an apartment in Austria. To retire here, you'd need a residence permit after six months. Number 8. Czech Republic. If Eastern Europe is calling, the Czech Republic can offer a nice balance of affordability and safety. In fact, it ranks number 7 on the Global Peace Index. Real estate costs reduce significantly lower in Czech Republic, compared to Western Europe. You also have plenty to enjoy during your free time, especially if you're a history buff. The Czech Republic is known as the castle capital of the world. The Prague Castle, has been standing since the Middle Ages. The country is also home to 20 monuments listed as UNESCO Cultural and World Heritage Sites. After 90 days, you'd need to register for a visa. You would also need proof of health insurance, to apply for the visa. Number 9. According to International Living, Ecuador has an old charm that feels like something out of the 1950s. Add to that, it's full of friendly residents, great service everywhere you go, and modern cities. You cannot beat the climate in Ecuador, which is perfect on most occasions, this place also has a spot for everybody, whether you love sun seeking on a beautiful hot beach, or a cool highland retreat in the mountains, Ecuador has you covered. There are many pockets of expats living around the nation, most commonly in places like Cuenca, and Vilcabamba. A budget range for a single person in Ecuador, would be $1,170 to $1,275 a month. A couple can enjoy a really high quality of life, on as little as $1,620 a month. In Cuenca, rents start at about $400 a month. Along the coast in a place like Salinas, you'd pay $450, for a one-bedroom apartment near the beach, or $700 for a water view. Number 10. Portugal. The nation of Portugal, ranks among the top 5 on the Global Peace Index, which makes it one of the safest countries in the world. Its sandy beaches and warm climate can serve as a refreshing environment for your golden years. To retire in Portugal, you'd have to provide proof of health insurance, when applying for residency at the local consulate. However, many major health insurance companies that serve the US and UK, also extend coverage into Portugal. So your transition to Portugal shouldn't be an issue, the country has also recently changed its tax code, to be particularly friendly to expats. If you qualify for non-habitual residence status, you're exempt from income tax for the next 10 years. This would cover earnings made through investments, and pension income, even if it was made outside of Portugal. <laughs>